I'd like to talk a little bit about the international reach of what we're doing. I, I've spoken now in about 30 countries on service learning and been a part of collectives that are coming together in ways not unlike what the way we came together here in the U.S. to, to drive an agenda. The strongest is um, in Latin America, uh, headquartered out of the, uh, the work of Maria Nieves Tapia in Buenos Aires. She reaches out now to about 14 different countries in Latin America doing service learning. Um, and it's been, it, it's been reciprocal. Um, uh, Maria is here at our conference now and presenting, and we do a web conference now connecting to her colleagues back in Buenos Aires and in, uh, in Ecuador and Brazil and um, in uh, Mexico. Um, so we, we do that every year, but, but they, have a, they have a very powerful model, and that's been, that's been really good for those of us in the U.S. In similar fashion, uh, and I, I worked in the, in the West Bank um, in Palestine, uh, and there's a whole service learning, positive youth development approach now that is taking hold amongst Palestinians, and they're here to, uh, this time around. And and I, I've been working with them for six or seven years. And in a similar fashion, the academic dean of the uh, uh, University uh, uh, of Congo bilingual Christian is in uh, from um, Eastern Congo is here, the academic dean. And they have built service learning into the fabric of this new university because they, they, they want colleges and universities and college students to see themselves as nation builders, not just people who are going to use their college degree as a way of getting rich or getting more powerful, which was the model, of, frankly, that they adopted from the Belgians. And in similar fashion, a lot of the colonial uh, experience in, in Africa was that, that if you got a higher education, first of all, you're incredibly lucky or your parents were incredibly rich. Uh, the idea of every, every child having an opportunity to, to reach their full potential wasn't a part of the, uh, the equation in the colonial times. And it, of course. And so it, it didn't come through. But anyway, the idea that you would build into your learning experience some element of contribution, what we would call servant leadership, uh, just clicks just like that for the people in Congo, the people I've worked with in South Africa, Malawi, people in Palestine. Europeans now are, are, have a, quite a network that, that uh, are, are convening every year that uh, are doing uh, elements of service learning um, and, and folks in the UK. So the, the, uh, and there's a, a growing um, movement within the, the US development world, the people who work uh, outside this country doing youth development to do what they call a positive youth development and service learning approach, most notably the US Peace Corps which is adopted the NYLC designed um, standards for service learning, which was one of the big breakthroughs, by the way, to have those 